Hello, 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 my friends, and on this very fine day, welcome back to the Dynamo. So we're now in episode four of doing our editor database, Football Manager editor. I, I have so many different ways of describing it, but um, today I'm covering youth divisions, youth competitions, and cup competitions. Now, to get into it proper, the first thing you need to really think about is what are you looking to get out of your cup competitions? Um, uh, sorry, not cup competitions, youth divisions and youth competitions. What kind of structure are you looking to do? Do you want it to be a non-competitive youth division where it's literally just about game development? Or do you want them to be put into the league structure proper so that they're actually getting competitive game time experience against, like, uh, maybe not other youth teams, but against, like, um, uh, like other first teams, like a, a B team structure in the league system proper, like you have in Germany, Portugal and Spain, something like that. Or do you want to purely within like the English and the Scottish model of you have your B teams in a reserve B league completely playing in their own isolation? That's what you need to think about. Now, for the purposes of this database, I'm going to be doing both. I'm going to organize a B structure and I'm going to organize kind of like an independent under 19 structure. So I'm going to take you through how you do this first. So first thing you do is um, you spell the names of the nations you're looking for correctly. It's the first thing you do. But you go to the clubs themselves that you want to enter. Um, and then competition, find the competitions you want. So it's Ireland. Now, one thing I want to show you very quickly is that I want to put a series of under 23 teams that will act as B teams into the league system proper. So you go back to radiation rules divisions there's two divisions here so i want to set up a third division and i'm going to use this a championship winter is extinct unclick extinction give it a competition level just handy little things to revise over to make sure that you've not forgotten what we are doing in the league setup uh, like i've said before just the more you do this the more you get acquainted with all of the different things and if something doesn't work it'll tell you why it doesn't work and then you can go looking for it it becomes so much more complicated with advanced rules but we're not there yet and i've made plenty of databases without ever touching the advanced rules so this is something you can do at home you can you can play away with it so okay so the championship the way i want the a championship to work is i want it to have two groups of of 12 teams so we're going to go into clubs and how i'm going to organize this is some teams have secondary divisions um, so some teams are in like their main uh, national division and they're in a secondary division whereas some are not like uh, cockhill celtic um Mervy united letterkenny rovers uh Atten Rai, Atten Rai fc um so i'm going to put them into that reserve league so it's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve 13 okay so that's 13 teams and that, that doesn't make up the full complement so that we can fill up that with the um with the the under 23s teams so division as normal division search what a nation ireland one of these days i learned to spell it correctly now you go down and look for the that there's the a championship okay so now there's like i said there's two methods of putting uh, B teams in. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna open up calculator because, okay, so 12 by two, two groups of 12, 24 minus, um, did I put 11 or 13? I think it was 13, so that's 11 teams that I need. Let's just double check that I've done that correctly. Um, yep, 13 teams. So I need 11 teams to make up the, the to make up the numbers. So go back in the database, go up to the very top, now, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. No, 11. What am I doing? So select mass edit. Now you're clicking reserve teams here. Now, an important thing to remember is when you do mass editing, it'll only show you things they have in common. It'll never show you kind of like things that like what Longford Town has, or what Shamrock Rovers have. It'll only show you what all of them have in common. So you have to see here under 19 teams whereas if i click all there's no under 19 teams and that's because some of these teams don't have under 19 teams so unfortunately this is a tedious process you just got to go in and do undo everything like like in shamrock rovers i didn't point out but they had a second team um this like like i said like i have 340 teams in the database so i'm gonna have to do this for all 340 teams um depending on how much see reserve team reserve team these weren't in the other ones 
Um, depending on how precise you want to be, this can take you all day or this can take you 10 minutes. Um, if you have very few teams in a league system, then it won't take you that long. If you have a lot, then what I recommend doing is throw on like a Twitch save, um, watch like Fox in the Box, watch Zealand, whatever, and just entertain yourself while you're doing all of this until you get to the place where all of them have nothing in there. So what we're doing first is we're adding teams to an existing league setup. So we're going down to reserve teams to create. If you do reserve team, then what I'll do is it'll create a fictional B team into the database itself that you can assign to a league so that that league can be playable. Whereas if you go reserve team to create, this is to have the game generate a league, uh, to have the team, to have the game generate a reserve team in database itself when you actually play the game properly and load a database. So this is what we'll be doing add and it's going to be an under 23s team and then you want to select the division that they're going to it, it actually had it right there that a championship and now i want their weekend games to be saturdays midweek um wednesday attendance to be 200 minimum attendance 50 maximum attendance so go 4000 so attendance will be what's their average attendance minimum what's the lowest maximum what is the highest um, maximum is what I'll try to fill towards rival games. Minimum is kind of like lowest reputation games, whereas attendance will just be the average that it looks around. You'll also see this if I, like if I just select um, one random Longford town, if I go to stadium, I'll also get that here where attendance, maximum, uh, minimum. Now, training, youth, facility, recruitment, important corporate facilities, all of these have their own um, things that are attached to them. Like youth coaching is the quality of um, coaching um, afforded to uh, youth players this is not like under 19s this literally is players that are in your like quote unquote your academy the youth coaching is for the quality of coaching given to players coming through your youth intakes youth facilities um determines the i i, I can't remember exactly what it is but it's like um facilities and coach no i think coaching determines their potential ability facilities determines their current ability Youth recruitment depends upon the available pool of how well you are pulling in um, players relative to the pool in your area. So if you have a low youth, recruit youth recruitment, you will not be getting the best players in your area. Youth importance is basically down to the actual club itself of how highly it ranks uh, development of youth um, prospects. Like um, Barcelona has a very high youth, uh, youth importance. I think Liverpool has a high youth importance, whereas some teams that would typically buy and sell would not have a low, uh, would not have a high youth importance because it does consider the academy to be an integral part of their system so um that has nothing to do with what i'm doing here but there you go a little little tutorial on what all the facilities do here so we're going to go back to uh we're going to go back to everything go into reserve teams so we have our under 23s so now you go to the championship teams 13 or it's down here reserve teams there's 11. now that's important for the purposes of determining the league itself in the teams that it feeds into a system, it'll have 13, but in that league system, there are 11 extra teams. That'll be important to remember later. So go up to divisions, add, single division, a championship, 13 teams. You will have to change this. Number of rounds, two, substitution, three. I want to have two promotion places. Nope, not 22, just two. Zero, match day, Saturday finish okay so now if i go rules test rules it'll tell me that re required maximum 13 found 24 so change that to 24 and that's a good way of knowing that those reserve teams are included in the fixture lists go back to rules test rules relegation promotion are wrong so electricity first division number of relegation one and i want to have a playoff and again i already have one designed here so copy go here playoff paste Try make a, try make life as simple as possible for you. Now, in here, 24 teams, it's a group. Now, group gives me an option of groups, two. Number of rounds, two. Um, and then league sorting rules. Copy, paste. And then the date. I also want to fix it. So first to the first. First to the first. And then that's the second week in May. Uh, prize money, you can edit this if you want. Like I've edited the prize monies here, um, prize money here. So you can edit prize monies if you want. Otherwise you can just do the um, 
winner uh, prize money for win draw and defeat like i mentioned in the last episode so there i've put in a b team structure into the existing league system and that'll um produce those teams in the actual league system proper now we're going to have a youth competition for specific youth teams that will be a non-competitive league structure um now it's important this is the only way you can do this select your teams i'm going to select say 16 teams is that 16 that's 14 eh, it'll do go down to reserve teams um i have to go through this again just to double check that's another 23s limerick 19 cork um clear clear Galway, clear, clear. Lamper Town, under 23. Under 23, Finhart, under 23. I just need to double check this. Again, this can be annoying at times. Yep, they're all fine. Okay, so add, you want to add a reserve team because you want this to come into the league system um, to, be, to enable a selectable league, and that's an important part. So add, and I'm going to go, it's an under 19s team. So this will now create an under 19s team in the database that is selectable. Let's go back to database. Now you have to go to competitions and there's a under 19 competition already in the game here, under 19 National League. Now typically when I've been adding teams to leagues, the system I've been showing is go to clubs, go to the team, select edit, go to competition. That will not work for this one. This one you have to actually go to the competition proper, under 19 league, add, go to teams, and then add down here. Now, here, you're going to put in your nation, go through your filtering system, Ireland, then go into team type is under 19's team. Now, there's going to be more than 11 in here. Um, 19, there you go, yeah, because some of these are, there you go, under 19 Southern Elite Division. These are, uh, these are like under 19's teams that I haven't deleted yet. So let's pick up all of these. And now these are in here and now because they're in teams and not reserve teams this will allow me this will allow me to select this as a selectable league going to nation rules ireland now this isn't important you have to ask yourself what do you want out of your youth system do you want these to be competitive fixtures or non-competitive fixtures if you want them to be competitive fixtures you add them into the divisions tab at the very bottom of the league system before like after you've fleshed out your league system and you want to cut it off so that the division above it has no relegation and it has no promotion you just want it to be like a level that just sits there on its own that's not what we're going to be doing here so we're going to have a non-competitive reserve system so we're going to go down here click here and you have the option of two of them so i'm just going to go to one now first of all if you want it to derive youth systems all on its own you it'll automatically design it you can do main youth team divisions and what that'll do is it'll create group one where it'll take the first teams in here and it'll generate reserve teams and it'll put them into a league mimicking that division and it'll do that for all three groups handy way if you just want a cheap and dirty way of doing it you can also select regional divisions where you can select a number of teams in groups and it'll try to determine regional groups for those things or you can be fancy and go custom division and cup these are what are fun because you then it drops down and you get to custom make reserve divisions now there's one thing i need to double check with the under 19s team it has an under 19 division you have to select that to a regular division for it to appear as a playable league so go back here reserve division add single division under 19s league like 14 teams and then you just do it as normal zero zero um, number of rounds two match day saturday finish and now that'll open up like normal we're going to go copy and then dates uh, we'll have it normal as normal and now what we're going to do is we're going to introduce a reserve cup reserve cup yes it'll be the end of mcnally or end of mcgull sorry teams add the division i just want the national league 14 teams number of legs one rules extra time penalties substitution three from seven match day saturdays click in here click in here general now you have the name of the competition you have the format you want to polish do you want to have knockout group stages or custom custom is when you get to uh, determine each step of the system itself 
it can be complicated. I recommend just going to knock out to group stages for now, just to get familiar with how everything works and to get used to the system. We're going to organize a group stage in knockouts because it's just it it, it works perfectly for fourteen teams because you can set up two groups of uh, two groups of seven. So number of groups two, two groups of seven, uh, number of rounds in group stages one. The start date will be we'll say October. So October first and then it'll finish in March. And then league sorting rules, because it's group stage. Teams, um, the under 19 league, perfect. And then, oh man. okay, nothing else here. Now go to cup rounds, and this will determine the, uh, like the knockout rounds. Now, because I have two groups, um, I'm going to, I'm going to, Pull them into a semi-final stage where it's going to have four teams so i'm going to get rid of these and it's going to it's going to add four teams and it's going to have two legs so it's home and away so the first leg you have first leg second leg so first leg is going to be so it ends in march so go april april 10th second leg will be april 24th and the final will be the 8th of may now because this is a two-legged affair, it's going to be home and away. But that final in here for stadium, it'll give the option of home team, national, neutral, or specific. Home team, self-explanatory. National stadium selects the stadium appointed as the national stadium in the national. Uh, in the when you edit a nation, you can select a national stadium. <coughs> neutral just selects a, selects a stadium that's roughly um, around the was around the what's the word i'm looking for um the capacity of both teams so you're not getting screwed over by capacity wise but doesn't confer any sort of advantage so it'll try find like a neutral stadium nearby like if you have a cork team and a galway team it'll probably find a stadium in the midland somewhere like say dundalk stadium or waterford stadium or something like that um or sometimes it'll link you over towards like a stadium like near the capital or like it'll pick a big stadium for you it's handy if you want nobody to get a home advantage I'm going to go with the national stadium or you can click a specific stadium and then pick the stadium you want what i'm going to do is um because it's an under 19 championship i'm going to go with a stadium in limerick called thoman park where it's 26,000 seater stadium so that'll be a handy that'll be a handle handy final stadium and it's for the under 19s okay now we're all going to do because we've got the divisions over here and the A Championship has 24 teams, but of which 13 are first teams, we're going to select a, a cup competition in the cup competition's proper section, which is division, secondary divisions, cups. Add, now it'll give you the option of FA Cup, Super Cup, or other cup. Here's the basic system. If you want a Super Cup, it's a Super Cup. It's that simple. If you want your cup competition to send teams to Europe, it's an FA Cup. If you just want a cup competition for, for a cup competition, then it's just a regular ordinary cup. We're going to design an FA Cup system that's going to provide teams to the Europa League. So FA Cup, it's going to be the extra time FA Cup. And then I'm pulling from three divisions. So it'll be the Airtricity, it'll be the First League, and then the A Championship. And notice it's 13 teams, it's just 13... Um, uh, the 13, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, of the 13 first teams. Or I can select that and put in 24. Nope. It'll only give me the 13. So there you go, yeah. And this is going to pull from first teams. Next settings. Number of legs. Fuck it, we'll do two legs. Um, extra time. Penalties. Away goals. Substitution. Three from seven. Match day. Saturdays. Now, this will design that cup system for me. Or if I go here, extra time, knockout rounds, 37, seeded by division reputation. Now, where this is handy is, this has a higher reputation from this, and this has a higher reputation from this. So this is a seeding of one, this is a seeding of two, this is a seeding of three. Um, which basically means that um, if you go into here, cup rounds, teams out of 10, teams out of 27. Those 10 teams, it'll pull 10 low seeded teams and then it'll pull 27 seeded teams um this is handy for when you want teams to get entered into the competition so that you can seed by divisional representation so it'll take 10 teams from lower divisions or you can just have random teams 
So in here, it'll just pick 10 random teams and then 27 random teams. Now in here, there's two legs. Make sure you set your final to be one leg if you want a one-legged system. Um, so that's eight of the eight, ten. Yeah, that seems straightforward. You can set your times. Um, like I always like setting my um, my finals to kick off at twenty forty-five. Um, you can then select prize money for winners, prize money for a draw, prize money for losers. Um, everything will give you the option down here. You can also add third place playoffs. I don't see the point in them personally. They don't interest me. I don't find them entertaining. Um, but if you're doing like a World Cup setting or if you're doing like a European Championship or even like a European Club competition, third place can be fun. So I run you through putting teams in here. So what I'm going to do is League Rules, Test Rules. Um, okay, yeah. So you're going to have to get rid of that parent division. So click here, Under-19 National League. Um, these two, edit, get rid of that. There we go. Now we'll try it again. Nation rules are valid. Perfectly. File. Save data as. And we're going to put in a fourth competition. Or a fourth system. And we're going to go over here. And we're going to start a new game. And I'm just going to show you what this then looks like in game. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop recording here and come back to you when I have it set up for you. So you can see how that works. See you in a little bit. Okay, okay, and we're back to you now. So we're just going to go into random view season. So uh, there we go. So now we're going to go down to the A Championship. And here it is. And you've got Dundalk under 23s, Finn Harper under 23s. And you see where well, they're going to fill out that. And now one thing we didn't do, and I just forgot to do this. If you go into under 21s, um, those under 23 system, uh, those under 23 teams, will get the opportunity to compete up right up into that Premier League itself. If you want to avoid that and stop the air promotion, go to that second division and you'll get the option of B team or reserve teams can't be promoted. Click that and what it'll do is it'll say in here, if you go into rules, down here it'll say that um, like B teams are not able to be promoted. But right now, anyone can come up, anyone can come down. Um, so let me go back to that A Championship. We're going to go pick Dundalk. Now, if you go into schedule, senior schedule, you've got your Leinster Championship, you've got your SSC Electricity. Schedule, reserve squad. Now, there is a reserve squad in here. We need to find out why. So go into here, go back down here, reserve division, general. Yeah, it's reserves. I don't want that to be reserves. I want that to be an under 19s. Important little things to catch. So this has created a reserve division but then it's put my under 19s into the league itself. So as you can see, schedule, reserve, but if I go to under 19s, there's the National League. And works all the way along, and then there's the end of McNally Cup in there, so under 19s league, there's the 14 teams, and then the end of McNally Cup, two groups, seven teams. Top two teams go into playoffs. Um, I actually really like that, that cup format, because it fleshes out the... Um, the the format where um like the no schedule under 19s because like the national league it's not that long um 26 games and for for youth for youth prospects you don't want them having too many games because the whole point is development like you're not competing for anything the whole point is play games to play games to develop um but the cup still gives them that league outing while not like stressing them too much so i, I actually really like that setting and now if we go into, no, actually, I think that's it. Um, so you've gotten a taste of how to do league settings, um, youth competitions, as well as the cup competitions and how they all blend together. Um, there is so much you can do with cups, so much you can do with them. Um, they can offer, there's one thing that you can do is if I go into cups, add, other cup or even just like fa cup itself um actually no i'm not going to get into this because what it involves is um i was about to like walk you through that you can have like winners of three different cup competitions go into like a cup itself but you can't do that in the basic rules you have to go into the advanced rules to select like um picks winner from winner of last competition and, and picks runner up from competition or even picks third place or picks the first five teams um i'm not going to run through that now because that's advanced rules so hey I hope you've enjoyed this episode. I hope you've enjoyed youth competitions and cup competitions. I haven't decided what I'm going to do for episode six yet, but um, 
have fun. I'll catch you in the next one, my friends.